What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you guys the most common 10 sales objections that you will ever get as a SaaS or a social media marketing agency owner. This will cover pretty much all the objections that you'll ever get as an agency owner. So feel free to screenshot these, save all of them, keep them on the side for when you're on your sales calls and you'll have a good response for every objection. And as always, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll keep giving you guys more free content just like this video. All right guys, so the first objection on our list is I need to talk to my business partner or spouse. A lot of these objections can be eliminated before they even come up. And so for this one, our prevention method is gonna be saying, just out of respect for both of our times, do we have everyone here at this meeting that would be needed to make a yes or no decision on our service today? I would hate to take up any more of your time on a second call. So this is a great way to just eliminate this from coming up later in the call. And if they say, yes, we have everybody at this call, perfect, go right ahead with your pitch. If not, I would recommend rescheduling. Honestly, don't even have the call if not all the decision makers are there, you're gonna be wasting your time. Just make sure that they're all there. And then at the end of the call, let's say you forgot to prevent this or it just comes up anyway, you can say, no problem at all. What in particular did you want to talk to your partner slash spouse about? Is it the price? This is a great way to get people to tell you what their actual objections are. A lot of time, they don't actually need to talk to their spouse. It's a way for them to get out. Maybe they're not comfortable with something or maybe they just don't understand something. So this is a great way to get people to tell you how they actually feel. And so when you ask, is it the price? They might say like, yes, it actually is the price or no, it's this or it's this, or I wanna to talk to them about this. It'll actually show what their true objections are and then you can try solving those. Our next objection, which is kind of a big one with Go High Level is do I have to change my phone number? Go High Level requires you to buy a Twilio phone number with each Go High Level sub account. And so a lot of people are like, oh, I've been using my cell phone or my office line for years and everybody has it saved and they're not gonna know how to call or text my new number. And so this is what you can say to that if this comes up in your conversation. You'd say, not necessarily. Our phone system can be used primarily as your automated texting number. It'll be used to send reminder text, promotions, lead follow-ups, et cetera. You can still use your current phone number for taking inbound slash outbound calls at the office. And if anyone calls your new number, we can have it forwarded straight to your current office phone. So this is a great way to solve this. It doesn't have to completely replace their number if they don't want it to. We can have the go high level number be just for their texting and their automations and things like that. And they can still use their office line. But if somebody does call their go high level number, it'll forward right to their office line anyway, seamlessly integrating their go high level number and their current phone number. Our third one is I don't have the capital to invest right now. This is a big one that you can prevent at the beginning of the call by truly understanding the business and knowing what their budget is. The way you can do that is by saying, if you don't mind me asking, what kind of budget would you be willing to spend on a product slash service that produces a four to five X ROI on average? ROI means return on investment for any of y'all that don't know. And then you can say, feel free to not answer if it's too personal. Um, when you say that at the end, it'll actually get them to be like, oh no, no, it's not too personal. And then they'll like continue to say what their budget is. Um, but most people will say, yeah, if I can get a four to five X return on investment, then they'd be willing to spend quite a bit. And so that's a great way to get them to say that at the beginning so that it doesn't come up later on the call after you've pitched them everything. And let's say you didn't address this up front and it does come up at the end of the call. You can say, I totally understand. Our software is actually designed to produce a significant ROI. If budget is the issue, we have multiple payment options that work for any budget. A lot of other businesses we work with go with this more cost-effective option, and then you can list out the option that's cheaper, or maybe you break it into smaller payments and it still costs the same, or whatever you wanna offer. Um, in terms of payment, but it eliminates them having an out. Maybe the first price you mentioned is too expensive. No problem, we have other options that are cheaper or broken into smaller payments or whatever it is. If that was their only issue, they can't logically really come back from that. And so it's a great way to eliminate that objection. Our fourth objection is, are you selling Go High Level? I've only had a few people ever ask me this and it was people that had previously used Go High Level, but they hadn't used it the right way. And so if this does come up, if people are like, oh, you're just white labeling Go High Level and reselling it, you can say, yes, we do use Go High Level to build out our software platform, but we have added a lot more to it. Go High Level by itself is a very basic platform without much functionality, but what we've done is customized it and built it out completely for your niche industry. So you can tell them we built it out specifically for the real estate industry so that it actually produces results for your business as soon as you start using it. So this is just a great way to differentiate yourself from Go High Level. I know we're all using Go High Level, but 
We are customizing the automations, the calendars, the pipelines, the funnels, all this different stuff, but that took us a lot of time. And so that's why we are reselling our white labeled version of Go High Level as our own branded software company. The fifth objection is I don't have time to learn all of this. After showing people the software, a lot of them are gonna be like, wow, this is really overwhelming. I don't know how I'm gonna learn all of this and I really just don't have the time. What you can say to that if it comes up is you can say, I totally understand. That's actually why we offer automation as one of our key features of our platform. With the automations that we've built out for the real estate industry, you can easily save an extra few hours per week. It's a time saver more than anything. It's a great way to show them, hey, this software is to help you save time. It's not to take more of your time. Yeah, there's a little bit of a learning curve up front. You could always tell them, yeah, we've got videos in place that teach you the software, but the best way to handle this is say, hey, we've pretty much set it up for you. You really don't have to do much other than like respond to your leads as they come in, um, but it's gonna be a lead generation machine and it has a lot of automated things that will help you save time in your business. The sixth objection is we already have a website. How do we integrate it with your software? This one's super easy. Go High Level does have a website builder. So if you have clients that need a website, great. But a lot of them you'll find already have a website. So you can't really build somebody a website if they already have one that they like. So what you say to this is, I'm glad you asked. There are many ways our software can integrate with your website. We can embed our lead forms, chat widget, surveys, and booking calendars right on your site so that any leads you collect will come straight into our platform and have automated text and emails that follow up with them. So with Go High Level, we have those four ways to collect leads, lead forms, chat widget, survey, and calendar. So basically we can take the embed code from those lead forms, chat widget survey, those calendars, and we can embed them on any website, whether they built it with WordPress, Squarespace, Wix, wherever they built their website, you can use an embed code for all of those different types of forms. And so that's a super easy objection to get past. Objection number seven is I don't think we need your software. One way to prevent this is by simply asking, what are you currently doing in terms of marketing for your business? This will allow you to get a good understanding of what this business is already doing with marketing. If they're already doing everything that Go High Level does, I would be amazed, but if they are, great. They really don't need the software. You don't have to really waste your time on a huge call with them. But 99% of the time, these businesses aren't doing everything that Go High Level can do for them and help them with. And so you can help prevent this by just asking what they're currently doing so you can get a good idea of how you can cater the rest of the pitch to show them only the features that they're not doing or the things that will help them the most in their business based on what they told you at the beginning. If this does come up anyways though, you can say, gotcha, I guess to really see if our system can help your business or not, I would have to ask a few questions to see where your business is at already. What are y'all currently doing in terms of marketing strategy? So basically you're asking them the same question that you should have asked them at the beginning. Make sure to ask that one at the beginning, the prevention step, so that this doesn't come up at the end. At the beginning of the call, if you ask good questions, you will know if this business needs the software or not. So definitely try to prevent this one if possible. The eighth objection is, can you send me more info? I absolutely hate this objection. Um, it's just a cop out. People are trying to get away from you. They're trying to just say, hey, send me some info when we literally just gave them all of the info on the sales pitch. But this one can be prevented if you say this at the beginning of the call. You would say, I would love to ask you a few questions to fully understand where your business is at to see if our system can help you or not. That'll disarm them when you say can help you or not. It's showing that you're truly in their best interest. You're not gonna try to sell them something that they don't need. So we really just wanna figure out, hey, can we even help you or not? We might not be able to. And then from there, you would say, for the sake of both of our time, all I ask is you give me a yes or no answer at the end of our call so we don't get caught up playing phone tag. And you can kind of laugh at that. Um, is that fair? Anytime you're asking somebody to make a commitment and you're being kind of bold with them, make it more lighthearted where I say, you know, I don't want to get caught up playing phone tag with you. That's just a joke, right? So, um, and then saying at the end, is that fair? 99% of the time they'll say, yes, that's fair. So you're basically establishing at the beginning, hey, by the end of this call, you're gonna give me a yes or no answer. If you don't wanna use the software, tell me no so we don't waste our time playing phone tag um, or tell me yes if you do. And so by the end of the call, they will tell you either yes or no, hopefully it's a yes. If you didn't establish this up front though, what you can say if it comes up anyways, you could say for sure, these live demos are probably better than anything I can round up and send to you. What type of info are you wanting me to send? When you ask at the end, what type of info are you wanting me to send? This will reveal their true objections. They'll say, oh, I want you to send more info on like how the software helps with lead gen. Boom, that's probably one of their objections. They don't, maybe they don't believe that the software will help them with lead gen. 
Um, so basically asking that question at the end will give you a good idea and you can address those objections and potentially still push through and get the sale. Our ninth objection is we already have another software that we use. This one can definitely be prevented at the beginning of the sales call. You can say, are you currently using any other softwares in your business? If so, which ones? This is where you need to study up on some other software, some other CRM softwares or automation softwares, just so you have a good idea of what they do and what they don't do so that you can know, okay, this is something Go High Level does, their software doesn't do this, and you can really get a good idea of how to cater the pitch and show them which features they're missing out on not using Go High Level. So basically, if they are using another software platform that you don't know, you can just start asking them, hey, like, what does it do for you guys on a day-to-day -day basis? What do you guys like most about it? And they'll tell you, you know, we like this, 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 it does this. And then you can start asking them, okay, you know, based on what you've told me about this software, our software can still be a value to you. I think it'd honestly be good if you guys use both. Here's what our software does that the current one's not doing for you. If you haven't prevented this at the beginning and it comes up at the end, you can say definitely. It's impossible to run a business without software these days. What exactly does your current software do for you on a daily basis? So basically the same question we asked at the beginning, but if we didn't prevent it at the beginning, we're just gonna ask them the same question at the end. And then our 10th and last objection is, can you show me any results? There's not a really great way to prevent this one other than explaining the software super well and showing all the value of the software so that they don't even have this question at the end. If you show them how great Go High Level is and all the features that it has, they really shouldn't have this question. But if they do, you can say, for sure, what kind of results are you looking for? There are a lot of different things that our platform does for your business, but what area are you wanting to see results in the most? And then they might tell you, oh, we're looking for results in like lead gen. We want lots of leads or we want lots of Google reviews or whatever it is. And then you can say, gotcha. We'd be happy to give you a seven day free trial to test out the system. We are confident you will see results if you give us a try. Just a great way to push people over the edge, get them to sign up. Great way to get them to put their card info in and have that on file for after the seven day free trial. It's one of the most proven ways to sell somebody something is just give them some results before they have to pay. And if you can show them those results, they will happily pay for your products or services. There it is, guys. Those are the 10 objections that you're gonna get as a SaaS or a social media marketing agency owner. And that's how to overcome each of those objections. Down below this video, I've put a downloadable PDF of all of those 10 objections and how to get over them. And so you guys can get access to that down below. Also, if you haven't started your SaaS or your social media marketing agency yet using Go High Level, you can get access to my free masterclass down below. It shows you how to set everything up, start to finish, and I would be honored if you guys would access that. And then also, if you're wanting to start with Go High Level, you can get an extended 30 day free trial down below on go high levels website they only offer 14 day free trials but you can get 30 days with my link that helps me out a ton and then in return i can give you guys free one-on-one -on -one help help you set up everything inside of your account and really just make sure you understand it and i'd be happy to give you one-on-one -on -one coaching with that other than that guys i appreciate y'all watching this video and i will see y'all next time peace